You are watching Maximus Aviation. There's an old adage among lawyers that says if you have the facts on your side, pound the facts. If you have the law on your side, pound the law. If you have neither the facts nor the law, well then just pound the table. And there has been a lot of table pounding surrounding Boeing recently. No, not about the max. We have the facts on the max and Boeing loses that case on the facts without question. However, unless you live in an ice cave in Antarctica, you know Boeing has been in the news most recently with whistleblower complaints regarding the manufacturing process of the 787 Dreamliner and the Boeing 777. While those accusations may or may not be true and when the facts come out, we'll know more about them. But until then, it's still just more table pounding. And yes, I'm working on a video about that side of the situation as well, and later this week, when I indeed have more facts, I'll report on them. But in the meantime, and this is a big but, and you need to understand and research this for yourself if you doubt me. Regardless of all the recent mowing noise, these are the facts, and I'm going to pound these facts. Fact. Boeing has produced some of the safest aircraft in history. One, of course, among those is the Queen of the Skies, the 747 herself, but you can also add other safe and reliable Boeing products such as the 757 and the 767, just to name a few. But there are two models that are even safer, and those are the 787 Dreamliner and the Boeing 777. Whistleblower news aside. The Dreamliner hasn't been involved in one fatal crash in its entire dozen plus year history. And in the history of the Boeing 777 program, while there have been a few engine related troubles along the way, the only three fatal hull losses came at no fault of Boeing whatsoever. The first, Asiana Airlines Flight 214 while landing in San Francisco in July of 2013. The NTSB concluded the accident was caused by the flight crew's mismanagement of the airplane's final approach. And the other two incidents, both of which coincidentally happened to Malaysian Airlines jets and both in 2014. The first, of course, was a Malaysian Airlines Boeing 777 that disappeared from radar on March 8, 2014 while flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. It still hasn't been determined what caused its disappearance. However, all experts seem to agree it was caused by a rogue pilot. But according to all the data, the plane itself was operating perfectly. And the second incident later that year was also a Malaysia Airlines 777 on July 17, 2014 while flying over eastern Ukraine when it was shot down by Russia during the 2014 Ukraine war. Besides those incidents, the 777 has been a safe, reliable wide-body jet, even wider than the A350, and a plane that is technologically advanced and pilots love to fly. So ladies and gentlemen of the jury, those are the facts. However, there is no doubt also another fact is that Airbus has taken advantage of Boeing's troubled times to not only overtake them as the largest commercial aircraft manufacturer in the world, but also in its A350 wide-body sales as Boeing's top-selling 777 is starting to feel that economic impact. But is all of that about to change for the better for Boeing? Boeing's newest variant of their safest wide body is the 777X. While it still awaits the FAA's approval, it's set to begin making deliveries next year in 2025. And it is the largest twin-engine commercial aircraft in production in the world. Two other passenger variants are also being sold, the 777-9 and the smaller 777-8, as well as the 777F cargo option. The twin-engine jumbo boasts one-of-a-kind folding wingtips and next-generation monster engines that alone have a diameter larger than most commercial aircraft. These monster GE engines help to greatly reduce fuel burn, making it a popular option for airlines such as British Airways and Emirates, just to name a few, looking to replace its less efficient widebodies. So as Boeing pins their company's future recovery hopes to their newest wide body, Boeing says the X will be the world's most efficient airliner, thanks to its innovative GE9X engines and super wide wingspan. The twin jumbo has a wingspan of 235 feet 5 inches with the wingtips deployed, which is a key part of its advanced efficiency. The full wingspan is a staggering 23 feet longer than the existing 777s, but generate more lift and reduce fuel burn by 
The GE9X engines, which are the biggest ever built, are 10% more fuel efficient than the GE90 predecessor. The GE9X engine can produce over 100,000 pounds of thrust. And the unique folding wingtips are an industry first. The folding wingtips, of course, were developed to allow the 777X extra wide wingspan to fit at existing airport gates used for the present 777 variant. When the wingtips are retracted, the wingspan is about the same as the classic 777 at 212 feet, which is about the same as the Airbus A350. Boeing, taking lessons learned from the oversized Airbus A380, which required airports to construct new ramps to accommodate the oversized jumbo. Saying that without the 777's adjustable wingtips, airlines and airports might have resisted the new 777X due to the time and money associated with airport renovations to accommodate its new longer wingspan. As for Airbus, it strictly uses only Rolls-Royce engines on the A350. According to Airbus, the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine is the world's most efficient large aircraft engine. It boasts a 25% lower fuel burn and CO2 emissions than previous options, which Airbus says help drive down operating costs. However, while the still uncertified 777X is not set to fly commercially until at least 2025, some airlines have been choosing the popular already in-service Airbus A350 instead which is available in the A350-900 and 1000 variants and has been flying passengers since 2018, with more than a dozen global carriers including Delta, Qatar, and Singapore Airlines. Similar to Boeing, Airbus is also developing a freighter variant. But this is where Boeing is optimistic that their new long-haul 777X will not only compete with the A350 thanks to the 777's favorable economics, size, and fuel efficiency, Boeing thinks it can dominate the market. But that's assuming Boeing can overcome the production problems that have already delayed deliveries by at least five years. Okay, so let's take a look at how the 777X and the A350 compare. The 777-9 is the largest of the two at 252 feet and space for up to 426 passengers in two classes. The A350 is 10 feet or about 3 meters shorter at 242 feet than the 777 8 at 232.5 feet. The A350 900 is the smallest of the four, just over 219 feet long. The 777 8 smaller cabin can carry up to 395 people. The A350 900 and the A350 1000 planes have a capacity for 315 and 369, respectively. Both A350 variants beat out the 777-9 in terms of range, but between Boeing and Airbus, the smaller 777-8 can fly the farthest non-stop. Both the A350-1000 and the Dash 8 have ranges exceeding 10,000 miles. However, the 777 can fly about 50 miles farther. By comparison, the 777-9 can fly for about 8,400 miles non-stop, while the A350-900 can fly for 9,500 miles. Both companies offer unique cabin experiences and customers can expect innovative space and comfort. Both Boeing and Airbus wide-body cabins have innovations like better temperature control, improved ergonomics, spacious overhead bins, and unique lighting. Boeing, however, claims it has a competitive edge thanks to its larger windows and wider fuselage. Like the original 777s, the X's wider fuselage allows it to seat 10 across in economy. The 777X offers a cabin width of 19.5 feet, 16 inches wider than the A350. However, Airbus has recently redesigned some A350s to offer the same 10 abreast rows, but that's still in a foot slimmer cabin. Both the 777X and the A350s allow for 10 abreast rows, which has been the norm on the previous 777s for years, but it's new for the A350 as of October 2022. As far as dollars and cents, Airbus's lower cost A350 uses carbon composite materials, while the 777X is mostly aluminum alloy, with carbon composite wings. The A350 was originally designed on the old aluminum A330 frame, however in order to compete with the then new revolutionary carbon composite 787, Airbus was forced to change their design to a composite airframe to make the A350 lighter and more competitive with Boeing 787. 
The Boeing 777X by comparison was derived from the classic 777 and has the traditional aluminum fuselage. However, like I said, its wings are completely carbon composite, which may actually benefit the 777 in the long run, as both Boeing and Airbus begin to see problems arise out of carbon composite manufacturing. But in the plus category for Boeing, additionally, airlines will get size and range advantages with the 777X that the Airbus A350 variants lack but it may cost more to do so. The 777 variants are expensive, tens of millions of dollars more expensive than the A350. But of course, airplanes never really sell at the fullest price. Plus, with Boeing safety and financial problems, I'm sure they will be offering tempting price discounts on the new plane. So ladies and gentlemen of the jury, facts are facts. In recent years, yes, Boeing has been cutting corners and making disastrous mistakes with the MAX and even the Dreamliner. Still, the 777 and the 787 are two of the safest airliners ever built. And until that changes, those will continue to be the facts. And here's a fact. I'd love it if you give this video a like and also if you'd consider subscribing. And oh yeah, one more fact. Yeah. This is Maximus.